to kickstart your acting career with horror films. <laughs> I'm going to tell you exactly how to do this in this video, so stay tuned. <laughs> Did you know that many famous actors and actresses started out in horror? Let me give you some examples right now. Leprechaun movie, Jennifer Aniston. Kevin Bacon, Friday the 13th. Johnny Depp, Freddy Krueger, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Critters 3 with Leonardo DiCaprio. Stephen King's Firestarter with Drew Barrymore. So if you get a call to go to a ghoulish, horrifying, terrifying, blood-curdling, nightmarish, nightmarish creature feature, I suggest you take it. And here are a few tips that you need to know of how to start your acting career in horror films. So, you want to be in horror films. Congratulations. Now, there are a few things that I would like to point out to you that are very, very important when it comes to auditioning and even considering being in a horror film. Number one, are you prepared to be scared? There are a few tips that I want you to know in this video that you want to pay attention to. Appeal to both young and old. Horror films appeal to every generation because everybody, whether they admit it or not, they love to be scared because that feeling, that rush, that fight or flight, they want to be a part of something without actually being in danger. You know what I'm talking about. Number two, actors, writers, directors start their careers on a shoestring budget. I have yet to meet an actor, a director, a writer, and I've met plenty of them. It has a huge budget. Even Steven Spielberg in his first, in his first movie didn't have a big budget. Everybody yeah. starts out small, but the cool thing about that is is you start out small and those little steps, they turn into bigger steps. It's like walking up a ladder. You take step by step. That's the only way to get to the top, right? So if you're starting out as an actor, a writer, or a director, guess what? There are hungry people. There are starving artists out there who need you, who need your ideas, need your time, need your sacrifice, need your volunteers. They need you to be in their film. Number three, you learn how to act with your eyes because it's the eyes that are the windows of the soul, as they say. That's why I included these famous, wonderful people. Christopher Lee, Dracula, Jack Nicholson, The Shining, and Kathy Bates in Misery. These people have learned over time, over repetition, to act with their eyes. Because if you can't act with your eyes, you will certainly never act. You will certainly never act with your eyebrows. It's what you think that becomes truth. It's what you think that, that is expressed out of your eyes and the rest of your body falls into place. Acting, Sanford Meisner says it best, acting is acting truthfully in imaginary circumstances. So if you believe something is true, if you believe you are Dracula, if you believe you're a mass murderer, if you believe that you are a monster, then you are. Of course, you have to pull out of it. And I can show you how to do that. I'm an acting coach and I have done this for many, many years. Now, now let's move on with another very important consideration. Be sure that you want to do this because many films, I'm talking about budget films, okay? Not all horror films are blockbusters, let's put it that way. They're poorly written because people are in the process of learning and growing as actors, directors, and producers. Actors, directors, and writers. And consequently, many times there is, there are scenes of violence and murder and not being really, and not too nice. Scream from your gut. Now, what do I mean by that? There are various types of screams, as there are emotions. There's five basic emotions, and underneath all of those emotions are subcategories of emotion. For example, they're scared, frightened, terrified, and they all have different intensities depending on the conditions of your environment and, of course, the atmosphere within the environment. Now, when I say scream, when I say, when I say scream from the gut, talking about not just the physical gut, which saves on your throat. I'm talking about screaming from the depths of your own individual fears. And this is why horror movies are fine for some, but not for others. Do you really want to go, do you really want to drudge up an emotional memory in order to satisfy your character in the film? Or, of course, you can use Sense Mem, which contains your five senses. Now, for your entertainment pleasure and maybe a little laughter or two, I'm gonna show you ways of not screaming. Yes, it is screaming, but it's not very convincing. No, no, you can't have me, never, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's the way. <laughs> That's the way of not. Okay. <laughs> and I'll tell you why too. Take a look at my eyes. Take a look at my eyes. What are they saying? Go, go back a little bit and take a look at my eyes. And what do you see? They're kind of blank, right? I'll tell you why. Because I was physically emoting the screen, but I was making things up. I wasn't looking at anything in my mind's eye. I didn't allow myself to go there because let's face it, fear is not an... Uh, well, fear is scary. The moment you face your emotions and your vulnerability is the moment you become a great actor in that moment. So if you want, so if you want to become a horror movie actor, do it. I say do it. You only have so many tomorrows. Do it. If you like it, great. If it fits you, wonderful. Variety is how we learn. I'm not saying I'm not saying variety where it hurts other people or hurts your or hurts yourself. I'm saying in the context of becoming a great actor. If you want to become a horror star, if you want to become a horror actor, do it. Try it out. But just remember, but just remember this. Be aware of what you're walking into. Examine the script. Watch quality horror films. Examine how they act. Watch their eyes. If you need a coach, I may be the one for you. DavidThompsonCoaching.co DavidThompsonCoaching.co Like, subscribe, and share. And remember this. Acting is living truthfully under imaginary circumstances.